pen and can you say give me that one time let's go <laughs> Yo, what is going on guys, Tiff, and we're back on the Madden 16 tips, and today we are going to be going over how to perform and hopefully master the double juke in Madden NFL 16. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, the double juke is when you perform exactly what it says, a double juke. You fake one way and then go the other way and do a bigger juke. So it's almost like a little juke one way and then a big juke the other way. Now last year in Madden 15, I did exactly the same tip video that I'm going to show you today. But this year it works even better, I believe. So if you guys are new, you guys are in for a great tip. And if you guys are old, you guys are already going to know how to perform the double juke. But I'm going to perform different scenarios and different plays on how to perform it so now again we're going to show you a couple of plays on how to do it the first one is going to be the toss now how you're going to perform the double juke is you're going to be performing with the right analog stick on ps4 and xbox one and basically what you're going to do is you're going to depending on which way you are going to be running in this example we're going to be running to the right side you're going to be taking the right stick and you're going to be flicking it to the right right there and then to the left real quick so it's a quick double tap. It's the right analog stick, right left. That's how you go left when you double juke. And then when you go the other way, it's the opposite way, which I will show you an example. Now it works so well because it fakes out the defender. So right there, we do it again, right left. And then he fakes right and then jukes the left way. Now, obviously you want a running back with great uh, juke. And this is DeMarco Murray. He doesn't have the best juke, but I'm just using his as an example because um, you can do it almost with any button as long as they don't have piss poor juke, which uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have decent juke. And right there, as you can see, we fake out one of the defenders and we get an extra 15 yards, which is very clutch in key situations. So now we're going to be running it left. And look, we juke out three people in this situation. You're going to be doing this a lot once you master the double juke. So right here in this example, we're going to be going to the left side. We're going to be faking left with the right analog stick. We're going to be going left, right. As you can see right there, we're going to be taking the right analog stick and flicking it left and then right real quick. And then he's going to fake left and then do a power juke to the right way. And now, as you can see, we actually elude three defenders and we pick up a huge chunk of yardage. Now, the next play that we're going to be doing that you can do it with is the strong power out of pistol, out of single back, anything really when you're going from west to east or east to west. That's basically how you're going to want to perform the double juke and when it really works on itself. So right here, as you can see, the blocker actually blocks the defensive end almost into us, but we double juke. We do a little left, right, and he double jukes into a hole and we actually spring for a touchdown clutch thing. Now, in this example, we're actually not going to be using the double juke to elude a defender. We're going to be hitting the double juke to hit a hole. So in this example, look at this hole that we have up the B gap, the right B gap. But the strong power takes us to the right sideline. So what we're going to do is we're going to double juke we're to, the, to the left side. We're going to go right, left on the right analog stick. And we're going to hit that hole. And we're actually going to get a good yardage. Now in this example, we're going to be showing the inside zone out of shotgun. You can actually do the double juke out of inside zone out of shotgun. Any run where you're going west to east or east to west really works. So right here, we should have a loss of four yards. But we actually take it to the sideline we do the left right double juke on the analog stick and we actually pick up two to three yards which should have been a loss so it's a very very good play to use and a very good stick skill in order to master i would highly recommend mastering the double juke and again i cannot be more clear you really want to use the double juke when you're going west to east or east to west rather than north to south running up the middle with isos and things like that doesn't really work that well but now we're going to go over a situation where you can actually do this with the receiver and the plays to really do it are drags so right there we hit a drag to the left side it was man coverage it could be zone coverage i just did man coverage uh, to get the example better embedded in your minds so right here he beats his man and now we're going west to east and then we just double juke to left to right so we do on the right analog stick we do a little left right 
and then he performs a double juke and we totally kill our defender because we're going west to east so now the last example is we're going to be hitting the direct to the right side and we're just going to be doing on the right and like stick right left and he's going to double juke fake right and then go left and we're going to elude the defender that way drags work perfectly when doing the double juke because you're going west to east or east to west that is going to be the great tip today on how to master the double juke make sure you guys take this into practice mode and practice it and tell me how you're doing that's the end of the video guys make sure you guys like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in the next tip video adio